So today we'll be playing games that I downloaded 10 years ago, as you can see, 2000, or it, yeah, 2012, and it's 2022 now, so these are my Xbox Live Arcade games, remember that, remember Xbox Live Arcade? A lot of these games are no longer available, like if you go onto the store on like your Xbox One or something, and you, you could download Xbox 360 games and whatnot, but a lot of this stuff isn't uh, available to buy anymore. Especially this one, uh, Miss Pac-Man. You know what else I got on here that you used to be able to buy? Simpsons Arcade and X-Men. But we're going to start this off, and I'm going to play some Miss Pac-Man for Xbox Live Arcade. Also playing this with my Mortal Kombat arcade stick. So that's what we're that's what we're doing. That's what we're gonna do. And hopefully I can get the sound going. Do 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 uh, Step Bro and Horse, how you guys doing? I'm playing some Xbox Live Arcade. A couple days ago on stream, I was saying, oh, I'm going to be playing more modern games. Give me suggestions for modern games. I'm hoping that some of those people will tune in right now and be like, oh, so Mike's going to be playing some more modern stuff. Oh! Miss Pac-Man, huh? Oh, Xbox Live Arcade. Is that what Mike considers new? The Xbox Live Arcade? Okay. Hey, you know what? Honestly, though, Xbox Live Arcade is newer than I usually go. Because usually, what are we doing? Uh, Mr. Do or something like that? So we're taking a little bit of a step forward with the Xbox Live Arcade. A little bit. A little bit. But of course the game I choose is Miss Pac-Man. But there's a reason why I'm choosing to play Miss Pac-Man. And guess what it is? Yesterday I did a stream with Aaron and we played the new uh, Nintendo Switch game, uh, Pac-Man Museum Plus, which is actually really cool. But there's a couple games they don't include on it for, I guess, rights issues. Baby Pac-Man. Junior Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man, Ms. Pac-Man. So I bought this game uh, on Xbox Live Arcade ten years ago or so, and it still works. My Xbox this is my original Xbox. Uh, I'm sorry, my original Xbox 360. I mean to say, and I still got these games on here. I remember at one point, I think I had the Turtles game too, but apparently, I don't know, I lost it or that was another account or something. They had the Turtles uh, arc arcade game on there, but I unfortunately don't have that one anymore. In a way, this is almost nostalgic to me. Um, not even because it's Miss Pac-Man, but because uh, Xbox Live Arcade is like, it's like another era of time. Oops. Xbox Live Arcade is like another era of time now. It's like, you know, nobody's doing that anymore. What are people doing now? Imagine you could go back to 20, you know, 11, 2012, and be like, I wonder what people would be doing in the future with video games. Well, it's not Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, Alraz, thank you very much for the tier three sub. The very much appreciated tier three sub. And B. Doen also sub tier two. So we got tier, tier two and tier three sub. How about that? It's not often I get those tier two and tier three subs. So very much appreciated. Oh, I see. I see why I'm getting the high level subs. It's because I'm playing Miss Pac Man. Did I just find out what you guys really want? Is this what you really wanted all along? They're like, yeah, of course, it's a Miss Pac-Man. Why don't you just play that? You want those high-level subs, Mike? 
Miss Pac-Man all day long. There was also Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness on the Nintendo 64, which was not put on to the Switch collection. I have to say that as well, because that's another Miss, Ms. Pac-Man thing. Do you guys say Miss Pac-Man, or do you say Ms. Pac-Man? The cool kids say Ms. You've got that Z in there. Z is like that ultra hip, ultra cool. It's like, do you say laser, or do you say laser with a Z? Cool kids use the Z. Thank you very much, Ryan Silver, as well, for the sub. He's been subbed for 49 months. I guess one of my longest subs. I think there's a couple people that have been subbed for 51 months now. Just a few of you. Long time. Whoa. Oh, and there's the pretzel. There it is, guys. They, they often ask. They say, Mike, why is your logo a pretzel? Right there. We just ate it. We just ate my logo. It's also because I like um, soft pretzels. That's the other part of it, but... I remember back in the day eating those soft pretzels, going to Hot Sam's. I, can somebody, people do these like deep dives on things on YouTube. Can is, Has anybody ever done a deep dive on Hot Sam's pretzel chain? That's what I would like to see. You wanna know what kind of amusement I would like to see on YouTube? What would I watch? I would watch that. I'd watch a video on Hot Sam's. I have fond memories of that. Going to the movie theater, seeing movies like Back to the Future. Back to the Future 2, get yourself a pretzel. It's a good time. Then you, then you know what you do? You go right over across and you go over to the arcade. What do you do? You play some Dig Dug. You play some Pac-Man. You play some Junior Pac-Man. But unfortunately, we will, we will not be playing Junior Pac-Man because Junior Pac-Man did not come out on the Xbox Live Arcade. It's very sad. You guys want to see the other Xbox Live Arcade stuff I got? I don't have a ton, but we'll take a look. I'll come back to Miss Pac-Man in a minute. Dig Dug is one of the best, so. We got Dig Dug. Um, so I got Asteroids, Castle Crashers, Burnout, Three Takedown, Centipede and Millipede are also on this, but I don't have trackball set up. Chronicles of Mystaria. I guess that has a, uh, you know, Shadows of Mystaria, and maybe does that have Tower of Doom on there? Dig Dug. That's when back when I was playing Double Dragon Neon and Fez, and this is a totally different era, right? Uh, Galaga. Look at Galaga. This game that I tried and then never really played. Uh, I don't even know what this game is. This is ancient stuff that's on here. Marvel vs. Capcom. Um, Mega Man 9 and 10. Years and years and years ago, I did reviews on Mega Man 9 and 10. I think this is where I originally might have played them. Or on Wii or something. I think it wasn't on Wii as well. Um, the Midway Arcade Origins. And that's got 30 games on it. We could check that out. Mortal Kombat Arcade. I'm terrible at Mortal Kombat, but we can look anyway. Originally, I guess I originally played Red Dead on uh, this 360, so that's my old Red Dead. Shadow Complex, Tempest, Wolfenstein. Then we have Simpsons and X-Men. Why don't we throw on X-Men? Simpsons was pretty good on this before it got pulled. Yep. You think it was the only official arcade port? Well, I'll uh, put that on in a little bit. Welcome to die. How big is Mike's marquee collection? Um, huge. I have many marquees. X-Men. X-Men.
that art is hideous. Isn't it terrible? I agree. In the 21st century, evil mutants led by Magneto aim to destroy the world. Humans can do nothing against the power of the evil mutant. The only hope is X-Men. Go and save the city! This is who I always use. Where's the special? felt like he, he had the best move because he just take out like everybody on the screen. doing with X-Men now isn't um they're gonna be making some like new X-Men movies right that's like the next big thing with the the whole Marvel universe right like down down the line that's coming now that like all the Avengers stuff is kind of over I'm fine with that I'm I, I'm more into X-Men than I am uh the Avengers and all that, so if they're gonna do something, they might as well do that, because X-Men's the one I really like, as far as Marvel goes. I always found that to be, like, more interesting than most of the other stuff. I just felt like there's like a lot more going on there than a lot of the other. Pyro will turn you to toast. <laughs> I love him. Now, now I want to look at like the '90s X-Men era toys. I feel like I remember going into probably like Lionel Kitty City or something like that and seeing the the old X-Men toys. That was good shit. Thank you very much, Mr. Neon9 for the sub and Benjamin198. Am I looking forward to TMNT Shredder's Revenge? I think that I should be given a $100 bill at this point every time I get asked that. But you did sub, so I guess I have to answer the question. Um, he, he asked that along with subbing. So, all right. Let's see. Um, how do I answer this question for the, like, 600th time? Um, I had a, you know what? I went on a long conversation about that the other day. You want me to do it again? So, um... At this point, it's it's gonna take a lot of um, it's gonna take a lot for that for me to be happy with that because there's a fan game called TMNT Retro Palooza 
and it's amazing. And in my opinion, they need to, since their thing is official, they need to not only top that, but like destroy it, you know? And I don't even know how you can, because that game's so good. They Like, the fan did such a good job on it. So, like, I don't even know, like, what they can do. Like, is it gonna be? Is it gonna be better than Retropalooza? Like, a lot better? Otherwise, like, why don't I just play Retropalooza? Like, I can do that right now. So it better be like fucking incredible, and I, I and I came up with some ideas of um, what they could do to make it that way, and I think that they need continual DLC, like every two weeks or something, new DLC gets added to it, new levels, new characters, and they keep releasing DLC for it for like five years until you literally have every fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle thing you could possibly ever have. It's like you buy the game, you have the, you have the actual game, which the base game better like blow your fucking mind at this point because it's so like overhyped. But on top of that, if they want to like compete and make it like awesome, that's what they gotta do. Be, have like a package that'll be like, all right, if you pay whatever, $7.99, then every month you get a new thing or something. It's like, all right, month one, all right, like I'll give you some, I'll give some actual example. Be like, all right, uh, two weeks into it, they release Ace Duck, and now you can play through the game with Ace Duck. But it's not just a sprite swap. He has like different moves and shit. And then like two weeks later, they're like, okay, now you can play through the game with. Let's, uh, Mondo Gecko. And then they just keep going until every, literally every single character for Ninja Turtles ever, you can just play with every single Ninja Turtles character you could ever fucking think of. Every obscure character. And then on top of that, uh, every once in a while, I, I think they should release new levels, too. Like every couple months, you get a, you get a new level. Maybe like every two months, new level, and just keep doing it. Because that's the only way I can see that I'd be like, okay, this is this is definitely awesome. It's amazing. They, they keep releasing stuff, and that would also make it so that I'd have really not. There's nothing I'd be able to say because I'd be like, well, they're still releasing. They're still releasing stuff. So if there's things that I don't want. That would get me to kind of shut up because I'd be like, all right, well, they might release it like later, though, you know? What is the jump button on this? It's, oh, it's that. All right. So that's what I think they need to do. Because they're never, on release, they're never going to have every fucking thing. They're going to be like, oh, you know what it's got? It's got Casey Jones. It's like, yeah, no shit. It's going to have Casey Jones. Oh, we got April O'Neil. Yeah, no shit. Where's, where, they better have Muckman and Joe Eyeball. Better have Usagi or Jimbo. Better have, uh, you know, better have everything. I want to see uh, Krang's original body. I want to be able to play with Krang's, like, Dimension X body. I don't, I don't, I'm not even talking about his, like, robot form body. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, like, his actual physical form from when he was in Dimension X. They include, and by the way, they included that in the Retropalooza game. So already, so even if they include that, which they, sh they need to include that, but even if they include that, that's not enough. You gotta make it better than that, because it's the official thing. So how do, you, how do you top it? I don't know. Better find, figure it out. And you know, and I'll tell you how you top it, is you keep releasing levels. Keep making new levels. New levels. New characters. Also, 
um, maybe new vehicles you could have. On and on and on. I mean, I could play through this whole game, but you get the idea. That's X-Men. You like how the entire time I, I talked about turtles while, while it was X-Men? I was supposed to be talking about X-Men during X-Men. Now I feel like a failure. Oh well. We're all gonna die. Thank you, Pantera12188 for the sub and Big Slim777 also sub. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. So I named this stream Miss Pac-Man Xbox Live Arcade. Do you think it would have went better? W which game should I have put and then it would have put more people in the room? Let's see. Um, I probably should have named it. You know what I should have done? I should have called it. Here's what I should have done. I should have called it Simpsons slash X-Men Arcade. You know, instead of Miss Pac-Man. And then people would be like, oh, Simpsons and X-Men. See, I do the opposite. I'm like, how can I get the least amount of people? What, what would get the least? Maybe that. He Hex Ick HD. Look, I'm going to change the title of the stream to that. Like, I'm, I'm like literally doing that. This is how I sabotage myself. There, Hex 6 on Xbox Live Arcade. See, I like to do that. Because everybody's so fucking concerned about, like, it's like a big fucking popularity contest. Oh, how can I be the most popular person? How can I get the most views? How can I have people get the most attention for me? I don't fucking need the attention. I want, I'm gonna have hex sex. I'm gonna, I wanna do the streams that would get the least fucking views. That's what, that's like my ultimate goal is like, how do I get the least fucking views possible? I want, I want like, like if I put out a video, I want it to be like fucking like 12 views or something. That's what I'm trying to do. Real question, how do you attach posters on the wall? Uh, he says he's got a bunch of NES art and posters and you don't want to use the thumbtack, please help. Well, I've used that before and you can put that on the back and then you try to pull it off and then it rips the poster, right? Um, so what I do, um, so I have some very rare, like old like Atari art and Nintendo art and whatever. So what I, what I do and what I found over the years to make it so that the posters don't get ruined, I go and I get uh, tar, like, um, and hot tar, and then I do that over the back and then I put that on the wall. I've yet to pull it off of there, so I don't know what would happen, but that's what I've been trying. Please don't say come. See, I see. I was going in another direction there. I, I take the... Uh, I take the posters, I take like Mr. Spock's music from outer space, I try to find mint condition ones, like, you know, they come in the shrink wrap and then I open it and then I, and then I jerk off all over the back of it, you know, I just like, like blow like 10 ropes of cum like all over the back of it and then I like leave it for a few minutes, let it get a little like, you know, you gotta leave it for a few minutes and then I'm like, okay, I think that's ready and then, then I throw it to the wall, nothing's fell down yet! Seems to be working great. Is that what you wanted me to do instead of the <laughs> the tar? <laughs> All right, so we're playing Xbox Live Arcade, and uh, let's see what else we can do. I got this fucking Castlevania Harmony of Despair. So, so, so right now I got the arcade stick, so we're gonna do arcade stuff. Let's do Asteroids. It's my favorite. I want somebody to come into the stream that heard last week. Oh, what modern games do you guys recommend? Mm. 
That's going well. Asteroids remastered. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, listen to that. This is the rest of the stream. This is it. No commentary. Fuck that. Fuck. You mother. Wow, this is hard. I think this is harder than the, uh, your score is one of the ten best. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. One of the ten best in the whole world, huh? God, I'm, I am fucking good at this. I wonder if that, does that mean the ten, one of the ten best on Xbox Live Arcade? Because you're one of the, because Mike, because you're the only one that bought this version of fucking... Asteroids, whatever game I'm playing right now. <laughs> Not a word, that's right. Seven, two, six, zero, we're beating that. So the whole point of the stream for me was, I was like, oh yeah, I have Miss Pac-Man on, well, Xbox Live Arcade. And I did that whole stream yesterday with Aaron and we played like every Pac-Man game that was on that new Switch collection. That it, but, okay, so listen, that collection is really good. I'm, I'm actually not trying to shit on it. It, it. I actually think you should buy it. it like, I'm not making a joke. Like, it's actually, like, a really good collection. Um, I would actually also say to buy a physical of it, because God knows what would happen, you know? It's like, it's like this shit. It's like, I'm lucky enough that this Miss Pac-Man is still working and everything, but you can't buy... You. This is actually a perfect example, because you can't buy a lot of these things anymore. So, one day, you probably won't be able to buy or download, you know, that... They'll probably eventually take it off, like, the Switch shop, you know, eventually. Ten years from now, you probably will not... So come back to this stream. Let's see. Ten years from now, so... Fucking... 30... 32? 2032? Come back in 2032. And then we will see if you can still download the Pac-Man Museum Plus collection... on the switch. 
I don't even think the stores will be, you won't even buy, be able to buy anything. You won't be able to buy anything, probably. In 10 years on Switch, you think the store will still be up? I don't. I, they'll release something else by then. It's probably got like seven years. How, how long do you think the Switch, e, like what is it, the eShop or whatever, how long do you think that has until you, you can't buy anything on it? I say like seven years, six, seven years. And then two or three years after that, then they'll discontinue, you know, discontinue everything entirely. 2032, your steak arrives? No, dude, that's like 2060-something, isn't it? I4, thank you very much for the sub. If we're not all dead then? I mean, that's true, too. Did I ever try the Yard's Revenge that came out in 2011? I saw it. It didn't look... That's, like, not what I want from Yar's Revenge, so I didn't even, like, try. I'm going to beat that score. They, like, make you do this. Here. We're, let's get 10,000. Here we go. Let me actually pay attention to what I'm doing. UFOs can suck my dick. me the other day if I believe in aliens and UFOs and I, I do because they're in my ass I have an alien living in my ass it's true you wonder where they are you're like I wonder if those are actually real or not I don't think they're real they're they are they're, they're in my ass you should come look for it there's a UFO in there too both of them there's a whole fleet actually there's a whole fleet of UFOs in my ass. That's where they are. Take, take a look sometime. Shit. There's a bunch of asteroids in there, too. Gee, motherfucker. That was even worse. No. We're, okay. All right, now we're, I'm gonna do this. Now I'm getting angry at this. I have to, I have to be angry before I can do well. You guys should know that by well, by now. I can't play games if I, unless I'm angry. I say, well, like, why, why are you so angry? What kind of man baby gets angry playing a game? How can you play a game and not be fucking angry? Are you fucking kidding? That's how I get anywhere. They're like, how, how did you even beat? Castlevania 3 with no death. Because I was angry. Because I was pissed off. That's how I do it. That's the secret. To be fucking pissed off. I have to be yelling and fucking screaming. I think, honestly, like, you know, it makes me focus more because I'll be pissed off. So I'll be, like, more engaged in the game because I'm fucking pissed at it. And it, it makes me play better. So if I'm just sitting there like, I'm doing, oh, today we're playing blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm not going to do well. It's got to be several hours into the stream. And, you know, I've been playing for three hours and I'm like, motherfucking piece of shit. Then I might do all, I might do all right at that point. At that point, I might do all right. When I first start, I go in, I always go into this shit with the best of, oh, today we're playing, you know, whatever. And a couple hours into it, now I'm fucking been playing this shit for hours and I'm fucking pissed off. And then I keep playing and then finally I get a halfway decent score. 
what happens. Regardless if it's a high score game like this or if it's NES games, whatever. I need to keep playing it until I'm fucking pissed, yelling and screaming like a fucking maniac. That's where, that's where it all comes from. And that's why, and that is why, the internet refers to me as the Bob Ross of gaming. Because I'm able to keep calm, cool, and collected at all times. <laughs> at all times. It's just the way it is. I think the Atari, the 2600 version of this has colors. Motherfucking piece of shit. This is like harder than the new one. They give you all those weapons in the new one. There's no weapons. You just have this. like spread gun you don't get that you get nothing you get fucking nothing that that's what you get i did better though slightly all right good now we put my name in yours is one of the 10 best ever on xbox live arcade don't you feel good about yourself don't you feel good about yourself that you have the best on xbox live arcade it's probably just my own local file but I'm gonna pretend that it's Xbox Live Arcade. There you go. All right, so that's that. Play the little asteroids. Play the little asteroids. Almost 10,000. Thank you dollars to donuts for the sub. On which is the Xbox Live Arcade? It's the Xbox 360. If it'll load up, that is. Maybe that, hey, that'd be interesting if this would be the moment that my Xbox 360 finally dies. Xbox 360, you can still do it. I, you know what? Isn't it funny? Like we, I, I remember kind of back then having those thoughts. I'd be like, I wonder if these, these disc consoles, you know, like the Wii and the Xbox 360 that era. Even back then, I was like, how long is this? Sh I never felt that way about like NES and Super Nintendo. I never was like, oh, I wonder how long this stuff's gonna last. I just feel like. When I put a Super Nintendo game in, I just feel like this is going to be reliable, like this is going to work. When I put in like any disc-based game, I'm like, uh, I don't know, is it going to still go? Is it going to still go? You know, this whole era, like I'm amazed that this is still even fucking working. <laughs> that can cuz remember that was a whole era of what are they, what was it the Red Ring of Death and everything and everybody's pissed off and everything. That didn't exist before that, you know. We didn't have that shit. You pop the Super Nintendo game in, and then what do you do? You flip the fucking thing, and the fucking starts. And then you're, then you're playing fucking Super Nintendo! You're playing Super Nintendo! <laughs> Nintendo fan 0788, thank you very much for the tier one sub. NES and Super Nintendo are more reliable for sure. Absolutely. 110%. Especially, you get yourself an EverDrive. Because people are like, yeah, but the games will eventually die. I mean, they will. But put the games on an EverDrive, then put it into the system, and then you're good to go, like, forever. <laughs> Pretty much. Now we're playing this. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that art. Dude, I love that.
This is going to be the opposite of what I normally do. Usually I go, you see this finger? That's when I'm angry or I don't like a game and then I push the button and I turn the game off. We're going to do something else with this finger today. You know what I'm going to do with this finger today? Let me tell you what, what, what's going to happen with this finger. It's going to, check this out. Check this out. That's not what I wanted. Hang on. That's not what I thought was what was going to happen. I thought I was going to be able to keep entering coins into it because I really like the coin sound effect. I'm going to hear the coin sound effect again. So you only get to hear it one time, huh? Or maybe it's the start sound effect. All right, so I'm, here we go. I'm only gonna get the chance to do it one time. Here we go, so here we, see this finger? Now I'm happy. That was, I wanted to make that sound happen again. That whole thing was just that I liked that sound effect. That was it. Sorry. All right, here we go. Edit that out of the YouTube upload. I should. I mean, that's what, like, what I do anyway. I, you, so it'll be like, so you guys know, like, you guys that are on Twitch know because you, you know, you watch me like actually live. But on YouTube, you know what I do? It'll be like, so with Castlevania 3, I only put up the thing where I actually beat the game. I didn't upload all the other shit. Actually, it is. Like, if you look in the description, you can you can watch all the old shit. But when I put it out on YouTube, I put out when I beat the game. Because here's what happens. So let's say it takes me, like, 20 hours to fucking do some challenge. Well, if I put out 20 hours of stuff, no, like, very... Not nobody, but very few people are going to watch every single second of that. So I'm like, I did all that work... If you're gonna watch anything, you better watch the goddamn run where I actually fucking accomplished it. So I, I put out the runs where I actually do something. So, you're not wrong is what I'm saying. So here's the thing. Uh, I do like Dig Dug. Now, I'm more of a Mr. Do guy. Even though Dig Dug was the original. Here's one of the rare cases. Usually I'm the type of person who I like the original of stuff, usually more so than um, remakes and stuff like that. Um, especially with movies. Uh, but Or sequels and all that. But with this, actually, this is one of the cases where I like... I like I like Mr. Do better, and I'm not gonna say that it's not like a ripoff. I think it is. I think Mr. Do is a ripoff of Dig Dug. I do, but I like it better. I like it better because it has the ball. But I, I, actually, we're gonna be doing a podcast about the whole Mr. Do thing. I got all the Mr. Do stuff out of my system, so I think that's next week's episode. Watch the podcast next week. And I'm gonna say, I say everything about Mr. Dim that I ever wanted to say. Is he gonna come this way? Oh. Oh, whoa! I like that fire animation. Bump, bump. The mechanics are pretty different. They are different. I just, I guess that's what it is. It's, I like the mechanics of Mr. Day more. Oh, kill him, please. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Play Dig Dug on stream, it might be. Oh, fuck! 
Son of a bitch! Everything will be okay. Maybe. Probably not, actually. What do you do about that? So, like, honestly, what are the methods? You got the two guys, and they're... Let's, let's, let's go to the drawing board. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna discuss this. I want somebody in the chat to help me get good at Mr. Not Mr. Do. The hell is the name of this? Dig Dug. <clears throat> help me get good at Dig Dug. Alright, so here's what happens. Oh, I saw that Shredder over here from the other day. What the hell stream was that? Oh, it was probably Red Dead. Um. So, alright. Here's what happens. Also. Alright. Um. So. I don't even know what he looks like, but. So there's like the tunnel. And then. Here's you, here's you right? You're, you're Mr. Dig Dug and you got your rope. Or whatever. And you're, and you're going. Or your hose your air pump, whatever it is, right? But, um, then these guys are coming, okay? So here comes, here comes this guy. Why's it gotta be so loud, huh? Uh, here comes that guy. Actually, no, he'd be, he'd be shooting up. So, he'd be shooting up like that way, right, at that guy. So that's fine, you kill this guy, and he's, got, he's about to die, right? But then there's another dude right there. And he's coming. So I go to kill this guy, and I did. I killed him. He's dead. But then after that, now this guy's on top of me, and I die. What do you do? What is the method? Because you can't run away at that point. Say your prayers and give in to fate. Run away before trying to kill the first one. Well, you gotta kill one of them at some point. Embrace death. Maybe half pump the guy to death and oh, like you kind of half pump him. Then I. That's okay. That's a good idea. That's an actual method. I like that. Who was that from? Retro Junkie. That's a good idea. That's probably what you do. Okay, well, let's try this again. I was never good at this game. I've never been good at this game. Let's see. Because that's what always happens to me. So let's... Let's try to utilize that method. And somebody said, why do you even stream? Because of that. Because of that guy right there giving me a good tip about this game. That's, that's a good reason why I stream. That's a perfect example right there. I get all those hardcore gamer strats. I'm saying that's one example of why I like to stream. It's, it's, I'm telling you, it's like you're hanging out with your friends and you're like, man, man, uh, I'm having this hard time in this game. What do you, what do you do when you play? And then you sit down with your friend, your friend and your friend's like, oh, did you ever try doing this? And you're like, oh shit, I never thought about that. That's what we do here sometimes. I want to try to do this. Can we do this? Is he gonna come back here? All right. Well, is he just running away and he's gonna leave forever? Oh, he won't leave the screen. Okay.
So what you gotta kinda, oh, this is gonna be one of those situations, here. Oh, no, it's not. Well, I thought it was gonna be. That, see? That is what you do. So you see, so the problem was is I was pumping it too fast. And you gotta kinda, you gotta kinda grab your hose and then sort of half pump it. And then like let it go. Shit, 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 shit. How do you? I was gonna try to do it there. I gotta get good at, so, and then you can like walk away. Okay. So that's, I gotta get good at doing that. See, what I used to, I used to just like pump it like really fast and then it would just be over. But now if I sort of just kinda half pump it, back off, half pump it. Here, let me uh, See, that's like a half pump there. And then and then you fi then you finish them off at the end. So see. Pump it, pump it, pump it, finish them off. Pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it, and you and he, and, he, and, he, and you finish the guy off. All right. So let's see. Pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it. Pump it, pump it. It's just more difficult when you're trying to finish off two guys at the same time. It takes a lot of skill, like honestly, to to, um, to finish off the two guys. Or there could even be more. At some point when this gets more difficult, you might have to even like, like try to finish off like three guys at the same time. Fuck! That had to be there? Is that it? I got another, right? It's still hard to do though. I'm trying to get it down. That's a good method. Wait, we're gonna do this again. I'm not done. All right. Duck says, and that guys is how you pump more than one at the same time. It's not though, I wasn't really doing a good job. I'm gonna, I, I will, by the end of this, I will be an expert at pumping off multiple guys. That's the, that's the, one, that's the point of the stream. The point of the game. I always knew I liked Mr. Do better. I always knew there was something weird about this game. <laughs> now I figured it out. Well... Now even more, I'm like... <laughs> yeah, but, um... No, honestly, so yesterday was Castlevania 3 podcast. So if you wanted to hear all the stuff about Castlevania 3, we did that on the podcast yesterday. And then... Um... Next week, I think, should be Mr. Do. And I can't remember off the top of my head what Ryan did. He's been, he's been doing a lot of arcade stuff lately, too. I, th I think he picked, I think he's did an arcade game. I can't remember what it is. You know what else I really like about this game actually though? When when you're if you're not moving, this the music doesn't go. But when you are mu moving, that's when the music happens. It's kind of cool that they did that. Like watch. Nothing, nothing. 
and then you're moving, and that's when the music happens. That's awesome. I think more games should do that. I want a Mario game where the music doesn't happen until Mario's running. They should steal that. the funniest music too. Imagine a Final Fantasy game like that. Oh, when you're like walking around the map. What the fuck? I got like stuck. Arcade sticks sliding all over. It's one thing I gotta say about. I mean, and look at the. Can I even pause this? And look at the size of this arcade stick. This is like a giant arcade stick. I have it on my table, sliding all over the fucking place. This is why I like actual arcade machines, because they're like 300 pounds and then they're not gonna fucking go anywhere ever, no matter how much like pressure you put on the fucking thing. So that's always been my problem with like sticks like this. And they're just like I, I get into the game and then it starts fucking sliding around. It's like I got I got to nail the fucking thing to my desk. See that? Watch this. Shit, hang on. So if you're kind of moving towards them, I think it. I think you can kill them faster. Hmm. Kind of. Is that it? Motherfucker. Almost at 20,000. It's a little better. Do, 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 do. I still like Mr. Do better. It's cool though. I, I mean, I like I, I like Dig Dug though. All right, moving on with Xbox Live Arcade games. 
do world record now. That was the world record. It was the world record on my machine. That makes a lot of sense. Um, Galaga. There's always Galaga. Now it's Galaga time. We're playing all the hits today. Today, guys. <laughs> it's all the big hits. I'll do Simpsons next, maybe. You, was, you were here for the world record, yep. Let's just say it was the world record. Why do we actually have to get the world record? Yo, that background is cool. That's what you want. That's what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be at the wherever. I'm gonna go out to the bar. I'm gonna be the, the lady next to you and say, "Hey, uh, do you know I got the high score in the world on uh, on uh, Galaga?" And then she'll say. What's that? I said, the, you know, Galaga, the arcade game. Cool. Do you? Well, I don't know what that is. It's the, it's the Galaga. You don't know Galaga? No? No. Uh -oh. Well, what video games do you play? I don't play, she's, I don't play video games. Oh. Well, I, well, I still have the highest score in the world. Actually, I was, you know what, since you don't even know what it is, I gotta tell you something, I was lying. I don't have the highest score in the world, actually. That was just my pickup line. And then she just takes her drink and walks away. That's the, why don't you guys try that? That's my method for you, see how that goes for you. Hey, baby. <clears throat> uh, I got like that high score in Donkey Kong. It's like uh, the world record. <laughs> Motherfucker. I fucked this up, by the way. Completely. I didn't get the ship. Didn't get anything. The, the new Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, no, I, I hear about it. It's, I've heard, I, that's all I've been hearing about. Yes, but thank you. See, I didn't get my double ships. Here, see if I can actually do that. previous high score world record holder so it doesn't actually really matter 
<laughs> as, I, as I told the person at the bar. I should remember. <laughs> don't, I, don't, I don't have the skills like I used to, though. I, I have to admit. There goes my ship. Alright, so it was like that. I could get more into that, but. Missile Command. Alright, let's see what's on this Midway Origins. You're for Galaga 88. I, I like that too. Turbo Graphics 16, PC Engine, whatever it is. Ooh, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's all you need. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had a arcade overload. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know. We could do anything. We, anything could happen. Marble Madness! This is a strong lineup of games. Yeah, I, so this is not, um, this is just gonna be a control stick, I guess. Ooh. Hopefully this works, all right. All right. Hey, hey. Actually, that, well, we got used to it. It's really, actually... Okay, so Marble Madness, you're supposed to play with a trackball, so I'm not, so I'm having... Uh, I don't... Okay. How do I get out of it? There's probably a way to... You know what? Let me just kill myself in here, and then... Just end. I don't think I can play it like that. I need, I need a... Is it not gonna... Uh, God. Is there any way out of it? This. Okay. At least they're like, yeah, exactly. Alright, I need, I need a trackball for that. What else? Let's do this. Well, and now I'm not gonna have... I'm gonna have to put in an actual um, controller for this. Hang on a second. Hopefully this works. You know something I fucking hate about the Xbox 360 is how they hide the controller port. It's like got this little flap and then you can't fucking see. Just put it on the outside. Is that supposed to make it like... Oh, God forbid I see the controller port. This is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever fucking seen. You know what I'm talking about? It's got that little flap and it's like, oh, how do I, I can't find it. Can't find the fucking port for the fucking control. Who, why? It's more pretty that way? The fucking console isn't pretty anyway. It's not a good looking system, it's a fucking rectangle. So if you've already fucking ruined it in the first place, it's not like special looking. So just put the fucking port on there like a fucking PC so I can plug the fucking thing in. You want like a nice looking system? Look at the Super Nintendo. Like. Fucking stupid fucking controller port. I'm 
so upset now. <laughs> I'm so upset. Alright, um... What the hell is I playing this? The fuck shit am I doing here? So the US port doesn't get dusty? Is that why they did that? What about all the USB ports on my PC? That you just plug it in. It doesn't there's no flap over them. And they're fine, they're not dusty. That doesn't make sense. No. I don't no. Dust. Give me a fucking break. It's like those dust sleeves for NES games. That doesn't keep, you, you can put the NES, I've been doing that for the, my whole life. Since the 80s, you put the NES game in the sleeve, guess what, it still gets dusty. Doesn't fucking do anything. I like the sleeves. They're cool with the red like Nintendo logo on it. I like the sleeves, but they don't fucking do anything. Still gets fucking dusty. This is Robotron. The only game you ever need for video games. The only video game you need to have. Actually, fuck this game, no. <laughs> god damn, I'm gonna do it awful. I, we're gonna do better than that. Oh my god, all right, I gotta warm up a little bit to Robotron. Okay, let's try it again. Really, I need uh, a good dual arcade stick for this. And then, and then, even if I had that, then I have to nail the fucking thing into my desk. So what I really need for this game is I need a good twin stick arcade stick, and then I have to literally nail the stick into, or screw it, screw it into the desk. So I'd get it, oh, here's what I'm gonna fucking do. Hold up a second. So this is how it would go. So this is the dream. That's my desk, okay? Then there'd be there'd be the arcade stick like this, right? And then for this game, for Robotron, I'm just talking about Robotron right now. Fuck everything else. So you have the one stick there, the one stick there, so that you can twin do the twin stick shit. But then you know what I need? Because then this thing's going to move all over the fucking desk. So you know what I need? Just like it was happening earlier and I was getting pissed off. So this would then need brackets on the side. Bracket there. Bracket there. Bracket there. We're going to put brackets on this shit. And then you screw the fucking thing into the fucking table. And then it wouldn't fucking go anywhere. That's what I fucking do. I'm gonna get a fucking power drill with a fucking cord, and we're gonna fucking drill screws into the fucking table. That's how I would fucking play Robotron at home. Uh, or you just get the fucking actual arcade machine. I mean, just buy the fucking arcade machine is the real answer. Because the arcade machine was like this. Here's the arcade machine. Three hundred pounds, and then there's me, and then I stand there, and guess what? The fucking thing 
is not fucking going anywhere. Because you have the real fucking machine. That's why they fucking made it like that in the first place. <laughs> All right. Show my arcade stick. Well, the one I'm using right now is this, but it's only got the one stick on it. I do have one somewhere. I've got like probably 10 different arcade sticks, different systems and whatever, but whatever. Um, I got like a hoary one. I forget if that has two sticks on it. It might, I should find that. Anyway, all right. Seventeen three twenty five. Let's keep that. We're marking it down. Somebody remember seventeen three twenty five. I'm gonna beat it. Have I played Mega Man Wily Wars for Sega Genesis? Yeah, I streamed it like I don't know four years ago or something. Seventeen three twenty five. We do it again. You don't shoot the red, the little, well, they're, okay, so there are red guys that you do shoot, and then there's other red guys that you don't shoot. Fuck! And that guy, what did he spawn right there? All right. See those motherfuckers? I'm, I'm like always looking at the wrong place. All right, that was terrible. I can, I'm gonna do good at this, eventually. You think I'm probably gonna die with 8,000 8, things coming at me? 17, 6, 7, 5. That was better, right? Was that, wasn't that like slightly better? I think. Yes. All right, that was whatever that was. Is it gonna say up top what my last high score was anyway? No, it's not. So I do need you to keep score, keep track. Jesus. 
Jesus, there's too many! You think? Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh my god. It's like the police robots or whatever. So the little red guys are, you save them. What the hell? Come on. He should have died. Oh, look at those fucking guys going all over. Oh, that was a lot better. 30, 32,600? Oh, yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Am I more of Raisin Bran or Grape Nuts guy? Um, I mean, I might put the Grape nuts in the yogurt or something. Probably Raisin Bran. I, I have Raisin I'm old. I don't eat, like, the cereal with the sugar in it, really, anymore. <laughs> yeah, Raisin Bran. Yeah. Isn't it terrible you get to that age? You can talk to your parents back in the 80s. They're like, you should eat Raisin Bran. You're like, no, I'm eating, uh, uh, you know, Boo Berry. Fuck you. And they're like, well, one day you'll eat Raisin Bran, just like your grandfather and your grandmother. And say, no, I won't. I will always eat Count Chocula forever. Fuck you. And now, cut, cut to now. I'm like, so I only eat the ra raisin bran. <laughs> Fuck. It's terrible. Fuck! Oh. No, no. So what is it? Th 36 something, 32? 32 or 36? That was my high score. I, I wish it would save it. 32, 32,600, that's why. All right, 32,600, I gotta beat. And then I walk into, what is that, a bush? What is that, an atomic bush? Watch out for the atomic bush. Definitely too much bush in this game. All right, here we go. Mm, I'm doing worse now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's a it's a nebulon cluster. You're a nebulon cluster. That might be a good name for a cereal. Do a space themed like cereal. That's not Star Wars. It's just like a cool space themed cereal. Ne Nebula O's. It's not like fucking Baby Yoda or fucking cereal. Can anything be not Star Wars or fucking franchise ever? Everything has to be fucking monetized. So that the people that are already fucking super rich can just have more money. Let's just keep giving, you know what we should do? Let's just keep giving them money. But that's a good idea. How about some more? Oh, fuck. That was awful. I can do better than this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Because now it's all run by the company that uses the Disney name. I don't, I'm not calling it Disney anymore. I'm gonna call it the company that uses Disney's name. Because it's not Disney. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm doing like worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Because now I'm thinking, now, because now somebody fucking. Alright, just no more Robotron. Now I'm just getting angry. Satan's Hollow. Sinistar, let's do Sinistar. Yeah, the artist formerly known as Disney. I hunger. Ooh, yeah. Alright, I gotta remember how to fucking play this. There's a little, here, I need to do this, this, this. You gotta do that and then get the fucking, like, bombs out of the things. Come on. Oh, they're not, there's, there's a couple. Oh, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give it's like gone. Duh! Can I get one? Give it. Give it to me! Oh, did the UFO take it? Ugh. Damn. Dude, I don't like these UFOs. They're pissing me off. There. Okay, there's one. Give me. Give me. There's so many. Give me one. All right, I got a couple. Fucking hell. I have four. So if you don't know how this works, you're supposed to hit these asteroids and then the little those. If I can fucking get them. If it wasn't for these fucking UFOs. Just like asteroids. UFOs are a fucking problem in that too. There, okay, there's one. Can I get it? There, got one. Jeez. Be terrible. This is absolutely awful. Alright. Alright, I got a couple there. Now what at what point does the Sinistar come out? Because I do have some of these bombs now. There, I got another one. Good. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Doing a little better. Just really gotta watch out for the UFOs, basically. There we go. Alright, where. I forget when the, heat, the Sinistar comes out. Ah, oh, fuck. And do, are we not even gonna see him? Oh, he's like being constructed or whatever, right? Oh wait, actually, is it by blowing up the UFOs that he comes out? I forget. Oh, here, here he is. Okay, he's coming. Run, coward! Don't. I want to actually see him. There he is. Come on. Can we see him? There he is. Motherfucker, and then game over. All right, well, at least I saw him. <laughs> as soon as he came, it was game over. All right, I'm trying to remember what uh, you do exactly. I guess maybe you have killing the UFOs brings them out? I don't know. Or puts them together. But you need enough of these. God damn it, these little bombs blow them up. All right, I got a couple there. My fucker. Alright. Got one. Oh. 
I have seven. So it's the little bombs that are above the score, right? That's the that's how many I have. Can I keep think I can grab any of this? Oh, there there's the thing. It's creepy. See it like half put together. So if I did that. And the yellow, the, actually, is the yellow him on the radar? Let's see. Yeah, the, so yellow is him. I'm trying to remember. It's been a little while since I played it. Is he put together? I, I need more of these like, little bombs anyway, though. That's so, ooh, that's pretty good. That's a bunch of them. Bunch of them. I live, I live. Beware okay. Alright, so he's coming now. Beware I live. Alright, what is it uh Okay, so it's the other button to fucking come on. I am what are the UFO? Oh. What, do the UFOs get more aggressive when he comes out? That fucking UFO just came out and fucking destroyed me in like one second. What the hell? You get a fucking chance to do shit. That sucked. I need to fucking bomb this fucking... Dude! Really fucking pissing me off. how many you actually need to kill the thing. Probably just depends on how well you land it, I guess. I don't know. Bastards. I just, I don't know how to make him come out. Whatever's putting it to is it killing the UFOs that puts them together? I don't remember. I mean, somebody probably already said. Does anybody have any idea what do you do that puts them together? Or maybe it's just time. Maybe just uh, wait. Sinistar has zero pieces. Wait, is he collecting shit? All I remember about this is bump into the asteroids, you get the little bombs, and then eventually you get enough bombs, and at some point you can drop the bombs on him and kill him. But I don't fucking remember. Sinistar has one piece. One piece of what? Is he collecting these little bombs too? Maybe they're talking about the little uh, UFO things. Maybe they're talking about, are they talking about these? Like, oh, I 
I'll get that many. All right. Good. And I haven't even really been looking at the score here. I'm not even like really thinking about the score. I'm just I just want to kill him. That's all I really want to do. Care what the fucking score is. Alright, anyway, he's alive. Alright, so here we go. Hopefully, I'll get the chance to do this. Where are you? He's all the way down. Come on. There! Oh! Fuck you! Oh, I blew! The fucking sides of them, though. I mean, that's the closest I've gotten. I don't know. So once the sides are blown off, though, oh, fuck, what do you do then? You just keep throwing the bombs at them? The little red guys take the crystals that I'm mining to build him. You need a bomb for every piece. Okay, so if I, so if I have, so I have to be completely full of bombs in order to kill him. Is that what it is? Looks like Smash TV boss. More like Smash TV probably took it from this. Okay, so they're li the little red guys. You mean by the drone, right? They pick up the crystal. You're saying like crystal, like I'm getting these little mines though. Are they going for like the asteroids? They'll take it to the site where they're building the Sinistar. Okay. Once they collect 20 crystals, Sinistar will be built. So the red guys are doing it. All right. Self-replicating minds. Uh, I think what y you have to do is uh, first uh, drink up some Rattagino, Chief O'Brien's favorite drink. All right, let me try this again then. All right. uh, hold on. So they're calling Cinnabons, bon Cinnabons, <laughs> Cinnabons. I just call them mine, like uh, mines. They're calling it Cinnabon, but they're built. They're building the shit out of Sinistar. He's like the Death Star. Fuck! So I'm, I'm guessing that I have to have... Oh, they are grabbing those, aren't they? So they're doing the same thing I'm doing. Because I saw one grab it. Fuckers. They're like stealing my work from me. I have quite a few now. All right, I'm like pretty full here, so now I need them to. Do they need me to mine the shit? To here, I'm gonna let them have that Beware, stuff. Yeah. Okay, he's built. All right, where is he though? Beware, coward. Oh, oh, he's coming. The battle computer is engaging warp engines! <laughs> okay, now I understand how to do this. <laughs> All right. Fucking do this shit. Now I remember. I've done that in the actual arcade before. It's just been a while. Oh, God. I'm gonna die, huh? Dude, all right. It'd be awesome if I could do it again. Probably not gonna happen. 
He's gonna get built before I have enough of these fucking things. This game's hard. Ah. Well, I'm just glad that I did it, though. All right, so we killed him. That's it. That's Sinistar. That game's awesome. It's really fucking hard, though. That's how I always did that game. I was just like, I just want to kill the guy one time, and then I can move on with my life. So we're looking at Xbox Live Arcade stuff. Um, oh yeah, I said I was gonna look at Simpsons. All right, let's do Simpsons. So in 2012, I bought The Simpsons on Xbox Live Arcade. Let's check out that. <laughs> Dude. Do, 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 do. Thank you for the bits, Retro Junkie. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Bart. Homer. Marge. Lisa. Should I be Lisa? I feel like nobody picks Lisa. Bart, Homer, Marge, Lisa. What if I did a full Lisa playthrough? Would you all be upset? <laughs> Do it. Homer or Lisa? You would you would rage quit this stream. That, then I should definitely do it. You wouldn't be mad. You'd be disappointed. All right, I won't disappoint you. You want Marge? Everybody wants Marge. Fine. Marge. We'll do Marge. How about a full life in hell game? The Simpsons new game. That's the poster on the wall. The Simpsons new game. They should do that for movies too, when, when like the next Batman movie comes out. You go to the movie theater and it has the poster on the wall and it says, New Batman movie. Like, there's no title. It's not like Batman Begins or <laughs> Dark Knight. New, new Batman movie. Their <laughs> ass attack. Oh, this. Oh, now I know why they wanted this. Is it, that's why? This is this that. They're like, can you please pick Marge? They're, all right. This is all they wanted. They just. That's it. I see. I see what you guys are looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I kill Mr. Burns with my ass. <laughs> How the hell? 
Uh, Homer, Bart, Lisa, Marge last. Oh, you think Marge is the worst? You're gonna get my ass, though. What are you gonna do versus my ass? Can't do anything. I remember I like the cemetery the best. I wonder, is that the second stage? Or is that further into it? He's flashing, it's just like Bebop and Rocksteady. There he goes. Bring back the blinking boss meter. Are right, we gonna pump it? And go lock the Ready? Go. It's getting bigger. Oh! Oh my God! Really? Bastard! There's Itchy and Scratchy. I want to go to Krusty Land. I would go to this. Krusty, what are you? You're not Krusty. You're false. You are false! The Itchy and Scratchy Show. Can they have a Blu-ray with every Itchy and Scratchy cartoon just cut together, please? That they ever do that? Somebody did that. Santa's little helper. Oh, come back! Damn it. Uh, that is Pepsi, not Coke. This, uh, how about that? So the Simpsons drink Pepsi. Mm. The teacups, everybody's favorite ride in Disneyland. Spin it around. Make the other person sick. That's what's fun about it. If you're not spinning, if you get on the ride and you're not spinning the thing to make the other person sick, then you shouldn't have gotten on the ride in the first place because that's the entire point of the ride. Otherwise, go on Alice in Wonderland or something. Go on Snow White. You're supposed to spin it. The whole idea of those rides, the spinning rides, is you get in and you spin the thing as fast as possible, and then the other person is supposed to go, stop, stop, I'm feeling sick. And then you keep doing it until they vomit. That's what you're supposed to do. If you're sitting in it and you're not spinning the thing as fast as possible, you're missing the point. If somebody didn't throw up, you didn't do it right. Or at least felt sick. <laughs> at least felt really fucking sick. Isn't that scary, that shadow of Binky in the back? Binky is like, that's like terrifying, that shadow. 
That's scarier to me than any. Oh, is that? See, no, but Bongo. Why is Bongo coming out of the Binky garage? You ever think about that? Shouldn't Binky, or shouldn't, shouldn't Bongo come out of a Bongo garage? There's Binky. I want a whole game with just him. That right there. That's what I want. Can I? I want to play as him. No, don't leave. That's who I want to be. That's who I want to be, like, just in general. Like, if I could just be him, that'd be great. Fucking wacky ass birds and shit. Hey, 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 kids! We're gonna do some butt bouncing! Do you like the 38 credits, by the way? That's, is that enough? How's my hair? That's my, that's my Marge, I'm sorry. I, I can't do Marge, and I can't do Grover either. I'm still working on my Grover impression. I feel like if I, if I can work on it once a day, I'll eventually have it right. Let me try my Grover. I'm gonna try my Grover impression. It's got a long way to go. Ula, thank you very much for the sub. And I'm sorry, Dave, too, also subbed. Oh, this is the level I like. Look at that, when she jumps in the air and she puts the... <laughs> like that, that move. Da, 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 da. Thing. Who is the boss of the stage? I like all the frogs in the back, it's like random. Wiggle your joystick. Oh, gimme, gimme. have a Buffy the Vampire Slayer game that looks like this. I could be Buffy when you're in the graveyard. That would be fucking awesome. Like a Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Do like Sarah Michelle Geller and then have it be like an arcade machine. And you get all the you get all the zombies and monsters that are in that. Oh my god, that'd be cool, like fan project. They'll never make it. Somebody, a fan would have to do it. <laughs> I think they should keep that move though, if they do the Buffy version. <laughs> if there's still this ass move. <laughs> Jumping around with it. Ass going. Alright, what do we got? Oh, that's right. There, like, is no boss. You just go down the thing. That's right. And then every one of these games has this the infamous elevator section. Elevator. 
If you have a beat em up, there's gotta be the. There's gotta be this always. You know that Turtles game is gonna have like a fucking elevator section. They have, they have to do it. It's like it's just it's like it's like a mandatory thing for some reason in beat 'em up. I love that devil. You should be able to play as him too. Alright, that's enough Simpsons. I'm not gonna play through the whole game. Is it Karate Champ? Um yes, that was Karate Champ. Now we're messing around with some Xbox Live Arcade. Xbox Live Arcade. All right, so I'm going to take a quick break. We're going to come back in a few minutes, and then we'll play a little bit more Xbox Live Arcade. I will be right back.
one. Let's go. messing with old Xbox Live arcade crap that I downloaded 10 years ago on here. And the reason why, once again, is because of this Miss Pac-Man. Because Miss Pac, the whole reason I did this, Miss Pac-Man they did not include on the new Switch game. And I was like, I have Miss Pac-Man. I have it on my Xbox 360, so I'm going to stream it. Because I'm very upset that they didn't put that on there. And it also doesn't have Junior Pac-Man or Baby Pac-Man. Anyway, um, we had Tempest. So we looked at a lot of this stuff. Um, should we see what this version of Tempest is like? What is this Tempest? Do, 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 do. Mike will not be deprived of his Miss Pac-Man. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. There's the evolved one I could have done. Guess I'm not evolved. Oh, is this like... Oh, this doesn't want to work with an arcade stick. Okay, cool. We're not playing that. Probably have to be a control. I hope the arcade stick back up. Some of these, some of these want you to have a controller. So, sorry. I can I can complain about that porting. Oh, what about the yeah the, the Dungeons and Dragons? That should work. Let's try that. Is this Tower of Doom and then Shadows of the Star like, or is it what is it? Do you pick? I don't remember. It's been a decade <laughs> since I bought this. I don't fucking remember. I'm getting my money's worth is what I'm doing right here. I bought all this shit 10 years ago. I'm like, I'm going to fucking do it. I'm going to fucking play these games.
They're all saying, uh oh, not the, not the thief. Well, whatever. That's the end of the memory of horse penis. What a great name. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. What a great name. It was very sarcastic. They're like, what a, what a great name. Good job. You know you're an asshole, right? You know that? Okay, so we keep on nothing. I haven't played this in a while. I don't remember how to do all this. Uh, okay. Here. That's what I that's what I compare this game to. This is kinda like Custer's Revenge on Atari. Same thing. Same bat looks about the same, right? Like what are you talking about? Put this on master, huh? <laughs> Yo, this there. I had this as well on uh, Sega Saturn, I think. Um, I should do that when I do a Saturn stream. I'm just fucking around with different games here. Just so you know, I'm not like 
plan anything like super seriously today with this. Um, there is a no seriously though. There's a version of that on Sega Saturn. They did they have that available yet on the um, on the Mister, the Dungeons and Dragons? Should really probably do it on that. What am I using? That's the whole question. I mean, there's so many. There's so many things that that could mean. That's your whole question. What am I using? You want to know the monitor I'm using? You want to know the system I'm using? You want to know the controller I'm using? Do you want to know the capture program I'm using? Do you know what you want to know the capture card I'm using? Like what? The Sadiator. See, I'm trying to upgrade my thing from that. Doesn't Ryan have arcade cabinets set up for this game? Uh, he has the actual... Um, you know what? Uh, he So he has the actual board for it. I had the marquee. I actually just gave him the marquee for it. So he has the marquee now, and he has the board for it. But the cabinet itself, he doesn't have yet, but uh, he's probably going to get it. He's been getting all kinds of arcade machines. Um, so let's see. I'm going to go back to this, because this had a lot of shit on it. I mean, what controller? So I have a Mortal Kombat arcade stick. This is what it looks like. It's like an Xbox. It's like an Xbox 360 Mortal Kombat arcade stick. Nice stick, they're saying. The chat is complimenting my stick. Thank you. Do you guys want to see my stick again? So here's my stick. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat! Put rubber feet on it. I mean, that's maybe that's what I should do. If I did that, yeah, you know what? That probably would be the best thing if I stuck like something on the bottom. That's not a bad idea. Die Hard Arcade. I think, you know what? I think I did a stream of that before uh, Ash Frog. I'm almost positive. I think I did that with Tony a long time ago. Alright, uh, so there was all this different. I really liked that uh, Robotron. So. Oh yeah, remember the bubbles? Um, I forget how to play some of these. Should we try Xenophobe? I don't remember it very well. I, there's a marquee I do not have. So let, let me say, let, actually wait, let me do that. Uh, so, well, I don't have any sports ones. I do not have the bubbles marquee. I have Defender, I don't have Defender 2. Uh, I don't have Gauntlet. I have Joust. I don't think I have Joust 2. I have Marvel Madness. I don't have Pit Fighter. I have Rampage. I don't have Rampart. Robotron I have. I think I have a Tapper Marquee, but it's not that that one. That's I that's interesting. Um I have Satan Solo. I used to have the Satan Solo one right behind me. I don't know where I put that. Sin the Sinistar one I have right there. Smash TV. I think I I think I have that one. Spy Hunter, no. Spy Hunter 2, no. Super Off-Road, I do not have. That would be cool. I should get that. No. Oh, yeah, the Tubin. Dude, that would be a good one to get. I never even thought about that. I should try to get that. Total Carnage. Vindicators. I have Wizard of War. So, I mean, I got a bunch of them, but... Anyway, let's try this. Let's try the xenophobe. I don't know. The fuck. It's like ET and like Howard the Duck or some shit. Is this like the NES game or the uh, the 7800? 
or whatever. I don't even remember. So this is what they could figure out with multiplayer back then. This is like before X-Men, I guess, you know? <laughs> stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen. I'm now. Somebody, so here's what I want. So what I'll do is there'll be a person out there who like their favorite game is like Xenophobe and then they'll be like, I can't believe you shut that off. So what I want you to do is when you see this later, I want you to type up your 10 paragraphs and give me your case for Xenophobe because I don't know, I'm not. No, you know what? No, I'm not even gonna wait for the comment. We're gonna play it again. I'm not. I'm not gonna give up on it that quick. Let's try it again. This is gonna be my actual attempt at looking at this fucking xenophobe shit. We're, we're doing this right now. Xenophobe time. So like he can't. Okay, so he can't stand unless I hit, what is it? Okay, I have to hit that, stand up. So how do I duck that back down? Okay, it's, th it's this button to duck, that to stand. Okay, got that. Does he pick that up? Take bomb, right button. Okay, got it. There's all these different buttons. I mean, I mean, I like what that thing looks like. The graphics on that are cool. I feel like you just have to stay ducked the whole time because it's like, this is, it's like he's jerking off. Right, stand up. This is like the stupidest fucking game, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do it. I'm not doing it. That's it. That's as much as I can fucking play. I don't like it. I don't fucking like it. I'm sorry. I don't like that game. Maybe I do need somebody to leave a 30 paragraph thing about. Cause, Cause you know what? So here's how it is. It'll be like, I went through every NES game on stream, every licensed one at least. And then there were certain games that I would play and then I'd play them for like, so I, I was like, okay, I'm gonna play each NES game for 30 seconds, and some of them I ended up playing for like 30 minutes, and then some some I like literally shut off in like 10 seconds. It was like not really 30 seconds. Um, basically, I was gonna try each each one out for like a little bit, right? So kind of like what I'm doing right here, I'm popping games on and then I'm turning them off. So you, I go through like every licensed NES game, and then. There'll be somebody who's like, there's a particular ga NES game that they really like, and I only played it for like 15 seconds or something, and they're like, I can't believe you turned off uh, Pest Terminator after 15 seconds. What the fuck? And I'm like, I didn't really like Pest Terminator. I'm sorry that you really like that game. And they're like, well, I'm gonna tell you why it's so good. And then they leave like a paragraph and then and then I read the paragraph and I'm like all right and sometimes sometimes the arguments are good and sometimes the arguments are a little weak the the the, the paragraph will be like this let me tell you why this game is so good and what you're missing out on 
I'm like, okay, go ahead. What's the argument? And then I then I read the paragraph, and the paragraph's like, I used to play this game back in 1987, and I played it with my brother, and I have good memories of it from back then. I'm like, okay. And that's like it. I'm like, all right, that's great. <laughs> I'm glad that you played it 30 years ago and you have fond memories of it. But that's not enough information. So when you give, when you come to the xenophobe and you say to me, I love xenophobe and it's a great game, and then you go to list your reason, it can't, the reason can't be, I played it with, I, I played it with my great, great grandmother. Imagine, imagine playing Xenophobe with your great 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 grandmother. She's on the one stick, <laughs> and you're on the other stick, and she's like, she's looking at it. <laughs> Idea. She never even played a video game. What? What's this here? X X What's that? Who's that green man smiling at me? <laughs> you know? It's like she's the only time she had a photograph taken of her was when it was like the fucking. It's like in the old west with the poof coming off the top. <laughs> She's playing this fucking game. All right. Zybots. Oh, yeah. We're doing Zybots. I don't fucking know anything about this. Oh, look at that guy. He's got to stick your ass into that thing. I don't trust this man and that device. We're going we're gonna to be him. You stick your balls in that. Dude, he fucking, he cups your balls with that fucking machine and he, like, hits the fucking... We're going to be him. Is it Mark Hamill? It's a ball washer. Oh. Game designer, Ed Log. Programmer, Ed Log. Engineer, Ed Log. Designer, Ed Log. Background artist, Ed Log. Am I going? This is it? You oh. are forbidden. can like turn in space somehow. I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe you just go like that. I guess you're supposed to just do that. Yo, what is that hole on the wall there? Is that, is something gonna shoot out of that, like Indiana Jones? What do you think you do with that hole on the wall, guys? Oh. I see. The chat is telling me. Hmm. Ooh. Oh. That's how I stand with my arm like that. You ever see those Superman comics? And I, see, I feel like every time you see Superman, he's gotta, he's gotta be standing like, he's always, he's always standing like this. He's got that, he's got that shit going on. He's, he's always doing, he's always doing that. He's got, he's gotta be like, he's gotta stand like that. Or, or he's standing like this. It's always like one of those poses. Who does that? It's only if you're a comic book. I've never gone 
into like uh, Spencer's, and there's a guy standing there in that poke. How do you turn? Okay, well, I'm there's I'm missing something. Is there like another? Oh, I fucking found the button. All right, you can turn it. It's the one button I didn't hit. All right, I, I was gonna say. All right, now now I got this. The fuck is that noise? Oh, fucking eat, eat my fucking testicles, motherfucker. We're gonna uh, now. Now I know how to fucking spin. All right, you're done. What fuck game am I playing? Zybots? Zybots! Yeah. Oh shit! I mean, I like this better than that other one. The fuck was that other game I was playing? Xenophobe? I, no. The graphics were neat, though. Like, the aliens looked kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Blow it off. X-Men. Look at that fucking pose. You have $7. Description. More shot power. Yeah, sure. Yes. Did I do it? I don't even know if I did it. Did it work? Strafing. So, like, uh, I mean, this is not bad. I, I don't mind this game. Like, this is all right. I'm, o I'm okay with Cybots. What the fuck did I just get? I mean, there's all kinds of shit going on here. Look at the energy going down. There's a lot to know with this. It's actually really interesting. Like, look at, look at all that shit up there. Ace, is that like Ace Hardware? Is this, is that, is this a brand deal? Like, from Ace Hardware or something? You know, there's like a Journey game. It's like the band. Is this an, the Ace Hardware game? Seriously, like, what the fuck? Is there a Pep Boys game for the arcade? Yo, I want to play Pep Boys. The, the arcade game. Like, oh, you haven't played Pep Boys? Dude, there was X-Men, Simpsons, Turtles, and Pep Boys. And you, you're telling me you have not played fucking Pep Boys? Oh. Well, let me, let me tell you something. You know how in The Simpsons you like to be Homer? Well, and you in X-Men? Who do you like to be in X-Men? You like to be Nightcrawler in X-Men? Well, in Pep Boys, you got Manny, Moe, and Jack. You don't want to pick Jack. You want to, you don't want to pick Mo, you want Manny. Manny is the one. What is the energy that runs down? Like is that Can you spin the thing in the other direction somehow? Let me see something. Oh, look at the I wasn't even looking that. Let me see if I can spin the other way. I only seem to be able to spin that way. Unfortunately. Anyway, though, now that I'm seeing the, I wasn't even looking at that radar. So let's go. If I flip around, there should be a thing here. Okay, now, see, now I'm looking at their actual radar. I was totally not looking at that before. I feel like there should be another button that lets you like turn the other way. I don't think there is. Unless 
just uh, set up wrong or something. It might be. So, okay. Uh, hang on. So I got 53 energy. I feel like when I get that thing, that's going to fill the energy, right? Is that what it is? Damn it. It's like that. Let me kill this guy. Alright, 38%? Yeah, oh yeah, it just went up. So that is it. Is that your energy? Come on! Oh! Whoa. Whoa, warp! Shit. I, you know what? This game's pretty cool. I like this. I just wish you could spin both ways. I mean, if I, like... Nah, doesn't seem like you can. That's too bad. That's the only thing. What about... Oh yeah, that. Oh, it's a fucking keyhole. That's what that was. That was keyhole. So is that the end of the level or something? Oh, now we get out of it. Now it's gonna be a new map, right? Maybe. I... Yeah, this is like different. Okay. Oh my god, they're getting stronger now. Holy shit, holy shit. Can I be safe for, for half a second? Good thing I loaded up the Xbox Live Arcade. Shit's fucking awesome. <laughs> Motherfucker. I like that game. That's a good game. I'd play the shit out of that. I like that. Good work. That one's good. Good game. Zybots. I like it. Do bubbles? Zybots has Genesis vibes. It, it really does, actually. That's a good point. Zybots on Genesis. The turning is awkward and slow. Yeah, I mean, that is the one thing that's not good, but it's an old arcade game. What do you want? Let's try Bubbles. See if I can remember. Oh, yeah. How do you fucking play this again? I played this game before... I don't know. Let's see if I can figure. Is there. I might. See, I might have to con do a controller for this. I don't know. Okay, so I am the bubble. Am I collecting these things? Let's see. So I'm collecting bubbles. Why is there all these spiders in the fucking sink? Whose fucking gross sink is this? That they would have spiders all over their sink. It's just fucking disgusting. <laughs> this game like grosses me out. Who the fuck is this? Do I get her? Okay. Now what do I do? We go down the drain? Like, I guess so. So let's see, do we clean that? Okay, we get those. So as long as you don't hit the scrubbers, right? The scrubbers are the... Fuck. Yeah, okay, you can't hit the scrubber, you can't hit the bugs. Can I, like... I'm gonna try this again. This is not the game I was thinking. There was another game that was, that's... Because this is really self-explanatory. There was another game I was thinking that this was. Shit. 
probably do better if I put a con the controller on instead. Wait, so I can eat the smaller bugs up, huh? It's just the big bugs you can't. So you get these bubbles. And, and then I'm gradually, I think I'm gradually getting bigger. Somehow I knocked him out of the way. Fuck. Yeah. I want to try this with the controller because I feel like I might do better. Does this arcade collection have Avenging Spirit? Uh, I don't think it did. I had that like on the Game Boy. Which, I did a whole stream of that um, at one point. Long time ago. Okay, I'm gonna try this instead. So yeah, I, I like this game. All these fucking spiders. You like how there's like an old grandmother mopping shit up? So, oh, so also when your bubble, when your bubble is big enough, it seems that you can hit the bigger spider out of the way, I guess. It's, now that I have the mouth, it's like, I don't really know. Like at a certain point, I think you're safe from, is that a razor, by the way? It's like a fucking hell. You gotta really watch out, because they come right out of the fucking sink like that. Here, let's get her. So I, now I have like a thing on the end of the bubble. I don't know what it is, but... So now can I kill him? So, okay, I had the like little thing. I probably can't now, right? Let's see what happens. Yeah, you die. So if I had that little whatever that is on the end of the bubble, it's like some kind of weapon then you're able to kill, like, one spider. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a broom? It's the broom the person had? Oh, is that what it is? I see. All right. So, okay, so you get the weapon from the people. All right. So if I can get to her... It's kind of like that's so... If you get the person, that's, like, one extra hit, basically. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Did I just die? <laughs> got her. But they, they didn't give me the broom. So why did I not get the broom that time? I don't get it. Is that like, they only give it to you sometimes? attempt to get it damn it it's not easy I wonder if this game was a uh, okay now I have the room I was gonna say I wonder if this game was a um, trackball fuck this is hard alright 18900 I am gonna I need to have like a good round of this I like this game them porting this really much to stuff. I mean, I guess this is the port. Did they put this on, like, any, any, collect, any other arcade collections? It's the next eight hours right here. It might be. Hey, I mean, isn't that the point of doing these? 
streams is to find something that I really like and then fucking play it. <laughs> you know? What do you want? It should be. It should be the next eight hours. It should be this game. You kind of want to play this? It's fun. I, I, fuck. I like this better than the last one. The last one was cool. The, uh... Zybot? Is that the name of it or something? Is that, I don't fucking remember. Zybots. Yeah. Weird name. Not a good name. Oh, look at these things. What the fuck is that? Those cookies? What the fuck is going on? Oh, 30. I'm still alive. See, the, right there, like, why didn't that give me the broom? I got the lady. I don't, that, I don't understand. Doesn't make any sense. Right. And, and there they gave, gave it to me. Damn it. Am I dead? 42,450. Now, I think that's probably my high, right? Randy Hathaway, thank you for gifting a sub to Johnny Fat Sacks. And Doom Reaver sub tier one, thank you very much. All right, I'm gonna, whoever gets the next answer, so I can move on to another game or I could play this again. Whoever gives the first answer on what they want me to do is what I will do. Let's see what they say. Ashik86 said play again, and he was the first. All right. You were the quickest typer, Kashik86. So, okay, what was that last score? 40... What was it? 40-something? 40 42, I think. Shit. I wish it would save the previous score. Is this, yo, is this on the mister? Can somebody look that up? Is Bubbles on the mister yet? I tell you what, if Bubbles is on the mister, then I should do a Bubbles mister stream. a star too honestly that game was fucking great too Fuck. there's a bunch of new cave shmups on the mister now oh really that's cool i didn't know that sometimes the, the more shit they add the better Let's keep adding stuff What? Oh, it's that little spider over there. Sinistar is simple and hard, which is great. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, there's not a lot, a lot to know. It's all, it's just, it's skill based. That's what the shit I like. So I think I have to hit 43, basically, to the top. Damn it. 
the movement is kind of, it's like sort of slidey, if that makes sense. Which, it, sh it makes sense. I mean, I'm a bubble in a sink. It should be like slippery slidey. So I don't disagree with that decision to make it like that. Wow, I was able to get that soap sponge thing out of the way. Brush. What the hell was that? Did I just get an extra life? Oh, come on. See, the bubble wasn't big enough. Fuck! These fucking spiders that come out. It was an extra guy, okay. Now I can't stop playing this. You see what fucking happened? Now it's all bubbles. I have to force myself to play something else. I, I'm gonna play one more. I, I wanna beat the 42. That's what I want. Oh shit, is that where it was saving my scores? I didn't see that. Now I can't fucking stop. Now I'm obsessed with this. That sound effect sounds like Spider-Man and Atari 2600, the, his like spider web. Did they steal the web sound effect from Bubbles? Dirty thieves. What is that, Parker Brothers? The makers of Monopoly? They would do that, wouldn't they? It was the Monopoly Man. Stealing sound effects. The Monopoly Man. Mm-hmm. Do 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 do. Come on. Oh, that's just that one bubble up. Yeah! <laughs> I had a broom! It's because the actual broom part of the broom didn't hit the giant spider. Not fair. Motherfucker, I had a fucking broom twice! That is some fucking supreme horse shit. I don't like that. Oh, you know what I think? I think the bubble has to be a big enough bubble before they let you have the broom. If you are tiny bubble, you do not get broom. If you are bigger bubble, I think you get broom. I think that's how it works. See, now that I have face, now that bubble has face, I think I get broom. Oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't, I'm wrong. So how, what is the deal? Do you think that that's a sane react? Oh, no, see, look, no, small bubble gets the broom. It doesn't make any fucking sense! It doesn't fucking make sense. Somebody tell me. Some, does anybody know? Tell me about when you get the broom compared to when you do not get the broom. Are there any bubbles experts in the chat today? Fuck! 21, I get, I have to beat 42? Fuck, that's half as good. Fleet Admiral says, my eight year old son loves your streams. Um, that, number one, that's probably because we're about on the same, same wavelength. Um, 
because I have the mind of an eight-year-old. But also, um, if you're not, if you're under the age of forty, you should not be watching these streams. I, I just have to say it right now. You have to be. Actually, I'm gonna up that. A little. You have to be over the age of forty. Nine. If you're 49 and over, you can watch. Otherwise, you should really just turn this off. We're all old men in here. You're 39 years too young. Yes. Mike, you are losing lives because the bubble was too small at the end of the levels? Wait, what? Do you, does the bubble have to be a certain... Wait, grow? Bubble grows as you clean up. Cleaning lady. Dive ahead one sink and collect bonus when the drain flashes. Oh, and, oh, so it's like a warp if it's flashing. Uh, don't touch the enemies. Oh, I haven't changed. Damn. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, it said you need to touch the bristles to get the broom. Oh. And now we're getting, see, once again, this is why I stream. This is why I stream. Earlier today, we were playing Dig Dug, and we learned some advanced strats. Now we're learning some Bubbles advanced strats. Somebody said earlier, that Mike, why do you even stream? Now you see, I'm, we're learning all about these old games. And you guys are helping me. You're hanging out with me. How many people are watching this? 537 people. So I can't have 537 people next to me. Imagine if there was 537 people. I mean, I could probably fit 537 people in this room, but everybody would have to stand like shoulder to shoulder. That would be crazy. Sometimes I get like a couple thousand people watching my streams. Imagine if you guys were just all in the room. I, you know, I, you know what I could say if that was like that. You'd all have to shut the fuck up because I, you, it, it, that would be even more scary because it can't be like talking because I would have to be like streaming and concentrating. You know how it would work? I would point. I'd have to. Everybody would have a number, and then I'd be like, "All right, I'm having trouble in bubbles, and I would like to know how. Uh, what's the deal with the broom?" Right, and then if you got if somebody in the room knows the deal with the with the broom, uh, raise your hand, and then you're, you'd have the number in your hand, and then this guy would raise his hand, and he'd be number two fourteen. Okay, number number two fourteen, and then then you can speak when I call your number, and then he go and then he goes, come, and I go, no, you're supposed to, you are supposed to. Tell me about the broom. And he goes, come. And I'm like, all right. And then I would have to have, a, like, a moderator who is in, like, like a, like a full, like, um, knight, like a suit of armor. And then the suit of armor guy comes downstairs, and that's the moderator. And then he drags that guy out, throws him into a pit of fire. And then I go, all right, who's next? And then they, and then... Number 318, raise. Okay, number 318, what do you got? Come. All right, and then the suit of armor. Suit of armor comes back. That's how, that's how it would have to be if, if, we were, if you were actually here. It would basically just be a guy in a suit of armor just throwing people into a pit of fire. <laughs> so... <laughs> That's how it would be, if just so you know, if you were here, the very high possibility that you'd be going, being thrown into a pit of fire. <laughs> That's why it's better that we do it like this. All right. All right. If you're just joining, we're playing Xbox Live Arcade. Oh, I got it, I got it. Because I touched the broom. That skill right there.
this is the machine I'm gonna I'm gonna make Ryan get a bubbles machine. I don't know if he's watching. There's probably very little chance that he's watching right now. But Ryan, if you're watching right now, go get the go get a bubbles machine. He's got like 50 machines now, but he doesn't have bubbles. He needs to get bubbles. So, but that's a, that's another really good suggestion. There's so, it's just it's so endless with that. There's so many you could get. There's there's a bunch I was suggesting. Like I want him to get kangaroo because I like kangaroo. <laughs> God damn it. He's gotten some of the ones I suggested. He got I, like I wanted mil I I want millipede. Like I love millipede, so he got millipede. And he got some of the ones that I really like. Whoa. Fucking hell. Mm -hmm. I am going to beat this 42 store. It's gonna happen. Uh, you Puyan's awesome now. You know what one's awesome? Uh, fucking Circus Charlie. That's another fucking game. That's on Switch. That game's really good. I love that game. This might be the I might I might 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 do it. She's gonna go down the fucking drain. Great. Oh no! No! You are a bubbles pro. I don't feel like a bubbles pro. Is it going to show the high? Wait a second. It doesn't show my score of 42. Why not? Didn't I get 42? Isn't Wasn't that my high? Now I'm like confused. Well, I guess we could say that that's my high then, I guess. Does anybody remember? Like, why did it, is it not listing that? I don't, I'm like confused. And what is it on here, 100,000? I'm gonna, whoever, why, whose score is that? That's like a made up score? Of, <laughs> that 100,000, like, where does that come from? Oh, somebody said 42, 450 was my score, okay. I don't know why it's not saved though. Did I just die right there? If I did, I don't understand what happened. Like, where are they pulling those scores from? Like, swear to God, they're like made up. Flashing. Can I go in? I'm gonna try it. Okay, you can. So I can go in when it's flashing. All right, all right, all right. So I didn't know if I had to wait. I don't know how to explain this. Um, wait until everything is off the screen. Like I clear it and then I go in. But apparently, I can just go in it, right? Go in. Making me mad. Let's see, are you a Bubbles Pro? I'm not, though. Where is the, Bubbles Williams, 109? Where is my 42, whatever, 42, what did he say, 42, 450? 42. Don't go away, I'm trying to read the fucking thing!
Where's the cleaning lady? Give me another cleaning lady. Oh my god, look at all these fucking spiders. Cleaning lady? There she is! Gimme! <laughs> no! I'm gonna go in. <laughs> Warp zone. <laughs> Cleaning lady. No! I didn't get the broom. I didn't get the broom. Yeah. Oh god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit. All right, there she is. Oh my god, oh my god, and she's gonna go away, isn't she? <sighs> Look, what was I gonna do? Come on. Got it! <sighs> Not that it even met, dude, that broom sucks! Come on, 42. I, come on, come on. <laughs> 42. Dude, it, the score is not on there. The score is not on there. 42, 500 or whatever. It's not there. Why? What happened to it? The chat saw it. It's recorded. It's on video. That's why I like doing these streams. What if that was my high score of all time? What if that, What if I got like 200,000 points? And is the game just not going to save it? Now I don't even trust this shit. Maximum five entries. Wait until it ends, right? And that didn't give it to me. I hate when that happens. And you know what the thing is? Even if I have the, uh, even if I had the broom, it doesn't work most of the time anyway. So I can't be, I can't be relying on that broom. It kind of sucks. It's hard to get it, and it doesn't work that great even when you have it. Damn it. See what I mean? It's like, come on. It fucking work anyway. Dude, this broom fucking sucks. Uh, I'm gonna fucking do this. I'm very fucking pissed off. Somebody earlier was like, oh, this is the rest of the stream. You were right. I will eventually play something else. It's the rest of the stream until I beat this fucking score. That didn't save. Stupid fucking stupid.
So if I go in the warp zone thing, is it are the scores like multiplied because you're like in a warp area or whatever, or you're you're like further, you're on a further stage probably, so maybe the points are higher. Better fucking kill him. Come on! Come on! Did I just lose a life there? Like, what? I just did it. 46! 49! Show you how to eat a cookie. All right, there, I did it. Now I'm satisfied. See how this works? No, go back! Fine. MM, that's good enough. Go, go to like the end somewhere. Where, how does this end? And then it runs out of time. Oh, whoa. fine. Mega Man, oh, Mega Man X. Mega Man X got the score there, guys. That's it. All right, so there's all these different games on here. There's Gauntlet, there's Gauntlet 2, there's Joust. <laughs> God, no, I'm not doing that. Uh, I love Robotron. I'm not good at Tapper. Satan's Hollow, I've streamed Satan's Hollow before. That definitely, I mean, I did the Super Nintendo version of that. I never really liked Spy Hunter. Should I give Spy Hunter one more chance in my life? All right, you get one more chance in my life. This, this Spy Hunter, if Spy Hunter doesn't impress me this time, I have to be done with Spy Hunter. The weapons, the truck, the smoke screen, the oil slick, the machine guns, the missiles. We'll see. Get more than the NES version. Yeah. Maybe that's the problem. I just don't like the NES one. Get in the back. Oh, whoa! I guess not. Great. Oh no. Oh no! No!
Isn't there like a bunch of other shit you can get like oil, the oil and all that, right? Like I I hate I still hate it. <laughs> I fucking hate it. Too bad. Every game is like different controls, like with the putting in the coins. Fisherman doing that. Soda. No. Oh, is that it? Bastard. Bouncy balls. These controls are rough. Oh my god, oh my god. There's the music change. Come on, asshole, what is he doing? Fine, I can get like sodas while you like jerk off. Like, he decided to start like, just jerking off instead. Oh, look at the bear. That's awesome. I like that animation. Is that it? We good? <laughs> That's two of them. I don't know. It's fine. Ooh, total carnage. Wizard of War. Remember Wizard of War? I know I Wizard of War. I am a wizard of war. I am angry. Do not fuck with me. Ha 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 ha. 
You know what happens in the double score dungeon? You score twice as much. That's right. Uh-oh. Thank you, Larka. Damn it for the sub. The Wizard of War will do you in. Come on. Is that it? Oh no, this might be. This is not going well at all. Come back for more with the Wizard of War. The Wizard of War. The Xenophobe, Zybots, and all that good stuff. Ha 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 ha. Come back for more with the Wizard of War. Ha 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 ha. Sounds like Sinistar a little bit. All right. Come on, Xbox. Are you dying on me? Oh, the Xbox is live. It's live. It's live. So we're doing Xbox Live Arcade Games. I'm going to play a little more, but uh, I'm going to take a, another quick break. We'll be back in a moment, and then we'll play a couple more games. Okay, guys? Maybe we'll play more Bubbles. That's all I really want to play now is Bubbles. All right, I'll be right back. back I'm playing some Xbox Live arcade stuff that I downloaded in 2012. I'm going to play a little bit more of this uh, Miss Pac-Man which is not included on the Switch. Good old Miss Pac-Man. They say play more bubbles Mike. Bubbles bubbles. There, hey, There's some bubbles right there. That was weird. This is Ms. Pac-Man. 
How does it feel to play arcade on Xbox? It's like fine, for the most part. For the most part. There she is. This is not Pac-Mom. This is not Pac-Mom. This is Miz. There's also a Ms. Pac-Man game on the Sega Genesis. And I think on the NES. And I believe on the Commodore 64. Why is the Commodore 64 version of Ms. Pac-Man not available on Pac-Man Museum Plus for the Nintendo Switch? That's what I would like to know. Answer me that. Answer me that. Because they were like, what's a Commodore 64? What is that? The collection needs to grow. You know, if they actually... Um, got the rights, it would be cool if they did a sequel to it and put on all the other games that they couldn't put on there. Pac-Man Museum Plus 2. And then they do the rest of them. That'd be, that'd be sweet. The, like the they use like the bezel art and everything on that. It's actually really nice. So, like when you play like Super Pac Man and Pac and Pal and all that, it's it is really nice. I like Miss Pac Man's design here more so than how she looks on the marquee for the actual machine. She's got those weird legs on the <laughs> on the real machine actually. They're kind of creepy. fruit so bad. Oh my god, what have I done? Went the wrong way. Let's just finish this off. Do 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 do. Is this pretzel time? Pretzel time. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give oh no. Fucking hell. Look at this mess now. Crap. Alright. Cutscene, please. Oh, not yet. Next one. 
We can make it. I want to do a stream of Miss Pac-Man Commodore 64 because I'm nostalgic for it because I used to play that a lot as a kid. And do all the arcade ports on Commodore 64. Shit. Oh my god. I just fucking screwed myself there. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Holy shit. Oh god. Do 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 do. One more? I do actually. God damn it. Twenty two. Crap, this is bad. Thank you, Super Jet. What's up? What's up? And Angel Bum twenty two. Re release Miss Pac Man with HD graphics. I mean we're playing a lot of weird Pac-Man ports yesterday. Get that PSP one. Uh -huh. Achievements. This has achievements. Uh, I get the pair achievement. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna do this again. Um, your high score was 69,000. Oh my god, was it really? Your highest score you ever got was 55. Okay. Let me see. Let me see what I can do. What's the orange ghost name? Uh, we're gonna do all the ghost names. You know, on the um, on that switch switch collection, they had a one of the bezels had the name of all of them. Or one of them, one of those games. You think it, oh yeah, and then Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures. That's right, that was another one that was on it. See, that's why I'm telling you, they gotta do. Well, Miss Pac-Man's in there, right? And then they'd have to probably recode it to make it so it was Pac-Mom or whatever. It's probably too much for them to have done. No, what they need to do is just clear up the rights problems. What they really need to do. Wow, okay. Mm -mm -mm. 
Strawberry. Do 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 do. Am I talking about Pack Land? Um, I wasn't, but we could talk about Pack Land. What about Pack Land? Pack Land is a cool game. Score a little bit. Oh boy. No! I should have ate the fucking thing. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck that up. It's getting greedy. Oh my god! Come on! I was so focused on the other part that I didn't even see them. Damn it. That sucks. I really fucked this up, huh? I didn't even fucking do it. Oh, well, now, now I'm gonna do it. Come on, now I'm fucking pissed off. All right. See, I'm not angry yet. I have to get angry. Scum. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, you fuck. Can I? There's no fucking reach. That drives me crazy. Now I gotta fucking play it out. No, I'm not playing it out.
Come on, Xbox. Can you fucking put an option? All right. We're going to do this. No reset for you, Mike. Nope. They've got all of that, and they can't have retry? Because if I have a bad start, I can just reset it? It's like, come on. for this other one, that would be a terrible mistake. doing that? Probably. Yep. Mm, now I can't reset it. <sighs> Pissing me off. You know, you know how you do this? You, you hang out around there. Oh, no, or not. But if we hang out on the left side of it, how about we hang out like right here? Let's see how that goes. There you go. Hang out there. That works. Do -do 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 -do. Did I watch State of Play? Is that a movie or a show? Is that on Netflix or something? I don't know. Dude, I don't even have TV. I just do these fucking live streams and then I'll watch something once in a while. What's like the last thing I watched? I watched, um, I don't even know. Probably like Three's Company or something. I saw that, I saw Three's Company. Did you see that? Did you see Three's Company? <laughs> I saw, uh, I was watching Different Strokes, and, um, damn, finish this out, let's get these guys all up here, and then, I tricked them. I tricked them. I guess I can hear. Wait, I can pause so I can read the chat for a second. Turn on and off the console to reset. Yeah, that'll only take like 10 minutes. Have I tried watching the Orville? Probably one of the best Star Trek successors on TV. Except that I don't want more Star Trek. I'm done with it. It was done in the 90s. I'm, like, stop making anything like it. I have watched it, though, and it's definitely better than anything the official things are putting out. But I, uh, it's fine. I just don't care. I'm not interested in Star Trek anymore, unless it's a written, like old Star Trek. I'll watch old Star Trek episodes from previous to the year 2000. Or actually, Enterprise is all right. I would watch Enterprise. That's like the last thing I would watch.
a TV channel for Mike showing only content up until 2002. Yeah, it's called Pluto TV. That exists. It's great, and that's that is what the only like that's all I need to watch. It's fine. Because there's nothing else fucking worth watching. Or not much, anyway. Very little. Fucking hell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, one of these days, here. What if I, oh, what if I do that? Is that the quickest way? Oh, I have a way. Okay, now it's on. Now I can stop being pissed off. That's what you do. You go back and drop to the main menu. And that's actually pretty quick to do. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm happy now. Now I'm down with this. Thousands of channels and everything sucks. Well, I got rid of TV like a long time ago. I just mostly play games now. Like TV started like really sucking. Like, so I don't know, probably like eight years ago or something, I got rid of television. I'm like, I'm not, why, I never watch it, ever. Why do, why do I even have it? So I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna not, here. I'm gonna not have it. So I don't have it, I don't look at it. The only time I see it is if I'm out somewhere and somebody, it's like on or something. I'm like, oh yeah, TV, that's a thing that exists, I guess. And then it's still, and then I look at it and then I start watching something and I'm like, this sucks. And I'm like, oh, that was a good decision that I didn't, I still don't have that. It's still not good. <laughs> Call me when it's good. I can tell you, you know, you know when I got rid of te television? Uh, I got rid of television when David Letterman went off the air. That was it. Because that was the last thing I watched. That was a TV show. I'd watch David Letterman. When he was gone, I was like, all right, well, guess I'm getting rid of television. That was it. That was the end. And I'll probably never get it again. Ever. TBS. I did when it started.
It like changed. It like changed like later. He got like kind of like changed the set and stuff. It was like weird. Probably for like the first year or two of, of that. Yeah, for like a while. Do, 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 do. Come on, get it! Yeah! Oh! Okay. I will take it. I will take it. <sighs> readjusting, readjusting. Motherfucking piece of shit. Oh, it gave it to me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Holy shit. I thought I was dead. The game was nice to me for the first time ever. to me, Mr. Pretzel. Is it not saving the score, by the way? Where's the score? What was my score? That wasn't it, right? Now I don't even fucking know. Doesn't fucking save it? Are you fucking kidding me? It was 26 something, is that what it was? Oh, man, like. This is like super upsetting, man. I'm gonna write it all down, shit. This one's gonna be hard to beat. Me? I got um, it's like, well, there's 27, 350. Was that like a little bit better? I don't even know what the previous one was. No, it was 28, they're saying. Is it really? What was that 27? What the hell? 27, 350? Here, now I gotta fucking write it down myself. 27, 350. There. Do I like reaction videos? Like, oh my god, Banjo Kazooie's in Smash Bros. Wow, woo! No. <laughs> I don't. Not really. Not as far as me watching. You want to make that? Go ahead. I don't know. It's fine. But, like, for, for my personal choice of, of content to watch, no. It's not what I choose to watch. This is 
is like, oh my god, guys, I am so excited that there's a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game. Oh my god. Why do you care what that I'm excited about some game? The fuck do you care what I care? Oh my god! Little Red Hood? Would be like, um... I'm trying to even think of a game. Um... I don't even know. Yeah, like the, the turtle game, I guess. I mean, I guess it'd be like, okay, that'd be cool when that comes out. And then I make a bit. Oh my god! Guys! Can you even believe it? There's gonna be a, a new Ninja Turtle game? Oh my god! The fuck? Why do you care for me to do that? I don't get it. Maybe I just need it explained to me. That why why would you fu let's say there's another guy and he 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 thinks that it's amazing that that turtle game's coming out and then I then I watch that and I care that he's excited for some reason why do I care that he's excited I don't fucking care what like what. It's so it's not for me. I don't even understand it. I mean, for the longest time, I didn't understand why people watched. Um, I mean, maybe someday I will understand it, though. Maybe I'll have a complete reversal on that. Someday. Because I didn't understand why people watch Twitch live streams, and then eventually... Like, I just liked doing it. Like, I always knew that I liked streaming, but I didn't know why people watched it. It took me a long time to understand why anybody would watch it. And it's basically like if you're hanging out with other people in real life. Why do, why do you have a friend come over to your house and play a video game with them? That, it, that's just, it's the same thing as that. Pretty much. I and mean, it's a little different, but it's basically that's like what it is. So, I mean, that is easy enough to understand. But the reaction to a thing, like some guy that I don't know is excited about some, th some movie or some game and then, and then screams about it. I don't know why I'm supposed to care about that. I just, I don't understand it. That's the bigger problem with it is I, I, I don't get it. I, don't, I just don't even understand it. I'm just keep fucking this up. I'm gonna get this. What I had, 27? I'm gonna get 28. You're reacting to this game right now. It's different, though. It's not like I'm like, they would. It's a different. No, 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 no. They're talking about a different kind of content. They're talking about like, let's say that Pac-Man um, Switch game that came out. Basically, it would be like they drop the news of it, and they're like, oh hey, uh, there's gonna be this new like if the trailer comes out online, and then immediately I make a video and I go, oh my god. I Pac-Man, that's crazy! If you're gonna have this thing, that's what they're talking about. Not like somebody. It's this is different. We're sitting and we're playing the game and we're talking about the game, in like in in detail. You know, I mean, we're talking about a lot of other shit too, because it's like we're hanging out. You know, it's that's it's a different type of content. I get it, why should somebody else's hype affect me in any way? Yeah, I don't, like, I'm not into the hype shit. Like, I don't get it. Mike only has one reaction, unfiltered anger. Oh, that, I mean, that's pretty true. I don't disagree with that.
people here like seeing your reactions, though. That's why people are here. It's not the same kind of reaction, but it's a reaction. Sure. That, yes, that, I understand that. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about a particular type of content. Like when, when news of a new movie or a new game gets dropped and then somebody immediately makes a video screaming and yelling about it. That's what I'm talking about. It's two different things. Two different things. The two different types of having a reaction to something. You're gonna sit and watch somebody, like somebody in my chat right now could be doing a, their own stream and they could be playing Batman on NES and then I tune into their stream and they're, they're talking about it and their reactions to the game and all the things that they think about it. That's different than a video screaming and yelling and just basically being like, oh my God, isn't it crazy? Isn't it crazy? It's just, it, there's not like, there's nothing there. For me, at least. That might, be, that might be great for some people. And that's fine. I'm just saying, for me, I don't care for that. You know? And if other people enjoy that, that's fine. It's just not for me. And then I'm gonna get another but. And then somebody goes, but, but, but nothing. That's it, that's the end of the fucking conversation. If you don't fucking understand by this fucking point, I don't know what to fucking tell you. <laughs> I'm fucking done. The people in here, in your chat, would prefer to see you react to something that you hate, some, to something new that you hate, not with hype, but with complaining about why it's bullshit. Well, that, see, that that makes more sense. I mean, that I understand. Because then you're like, okay, um, Mike's obviously going to hate X thing. I want to hear him complain about this new thing. That makes sense to me. I get that. I just don't get the excitement. Like, for the, the excitement for the sake of excitement, and then you watch the person be excited. You know, oh, they released this new Street Fighter game or this new, you know, whatever, Qbert game. Oh, the new Qbert game. Wow. Oh, my God, Qbert. And that's the whole, basically the whole thing, you know, without, like, opinions or thoughts. It's just like, oh, my God, wow. And then you're watching a person go, oh, my God, wow, for, like, five minutes. <laughs> People must like seeing other people happy. Oh, well, that, see, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand that what, at all. So, I mean, that maybe that, see, that's where the problem lies. I don't, I don't understand that form of media. <laughs> it's for views. Yeah, but why would you watch it? I don't, see, I don't understand why that would get views. I know that it, it can and it does. I just don't get it. Because some people are very bored? I guess. Are they are obsessed with the personality? So you're saying they just like that person and they want to see that person be excited that this thing came out? I don't know. I, I need more than that. I would like to hear somebody's thoughts and opinions on something. Not just wow, wow. Uh, 
What? It's because people are raised on it. They have kids watch other kids open toys. I don't, I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> they can do what they want to do. That's what they like. Do it. But yeah, somebody asked me my opinion on it. My opinion is that I, I don't get it. Really, this is what the opinion is. I can't fucking do this now. What did I get? 27? Because I got fucking distracted by this idiotic conversation. Stop bringing up these fucking stupid subjects. <laughs> How do you like that? How do you like that fucking reaction? There's my fucking reaction. Fuck. And it'll be more than wow. Gee whiz. Gee whiz. I'm so excited. Watch me be excited. Yes, horse penis. There was a story there. <laughs> that was about the life and death of a, a beloved, uh, you know, friend. Totally different. There's, there was a beginning, a middle, and an end. In the beginning, there was a horse, and it was named, then we named it Horse Penis, which was the middle when he got his name. And then the train, I, then I was in a building, and then the train came and ran him over, and then he exploded into a million pieces, and that's the end. God fucking damn it. There's a whole fucking story going on there. <laughs> I watched Horse Penis Death in slow motion. Did you? How did it look in slow motion? I should do that too. Should play that. Let's play that game later. I love that fucking game so much. Why can't I not do this right now? I cannot do this. I'm gonna, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna fucking get this. I have to fucking focus as well. All right. <sighs> Miss Pac-Man. Think about Miss Pac-Man. Not 1970s television. So the biggest, that's my biggest problem with video games. I'm 
पा गए Cherry, can I have those cherries? Fuck it. All right. At least they made it through the fucking stage. Recess or hey dude? Uh, well, hey dude for me. I watched more of that. Hey dude. I like that question. See that? There's a good question. There's a man up to my own heart. Is that a, did they put that on Blu-ray yet? Is Hey Dude on Blu-ray? It fucking should be. Fuck is wrong with this world. That's the problem. That is what I see as the problem in the world. <laughs> From my perspective. That is what the problem is. Fuck. Motherfucking. Mm, I'll keep going. I'll finish it. This is the second. Oh, I'm on the second one. All right, I'll do it. You motherfucker. Can we please finish this? Jesus Christ. Where's the great kazoo? In my ass. Where's the great kazoo? Um, on the Flintstones. What do you mean, where's the great kazoo? What does that fucking mean? Where's the great kazoo? On a cartoon? In, like, the fucking 60s? That's where he is. What fuck kind of question is that? Where? Where's the, where's the great kazoo? What am I supposed to say to that? Where, I don't know, where's Papa Smurf? Where is he? Where is he? Is he here? I don't see him. Papa Smurf, are you here? Like, what the fuck? Where's the great kazoo? Fuck. I'll give you the great fucking kazoo. Inspector Gadget is dead. Well, he was never alive. He's a fucking robot, right? Like. <laughs> I mean, right? Like, I don't think he's alive. <laughs> I don't think he's alive, is he? Maybe he is. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. 25? What is it, 27? I can do this. I'll do it now. Maybe. I sh you don't ever say that. You can't ever say that. That's what will fuck me. Oh, just, I'm going for it. We're gonna eat all these. God. See what I fucking said?
26, 27, 350. Come on. I just made it. Fucking fine. Good. That's all I fucking wanted. At least it was a little bit better. 27, 650 now. It's like slightly more. Jesus Christ. Fucking area. Do Zach's on? It's not on this. Smurf this. Did they used to say that? Brainy Smurf is like, Smurf this. And then he points to his dick. <laughs> it wasn't that part of the cartoon. Isn't that how it went? I think it was, I think it was probably like that. I think that's what it was. Right? Like, is I, I haven't watched the Smurfs in a, in a while, but I, that's the way I remember it. So, like, Gargamel is walking around the forest, and he's got that, like, black trench coat on. And then he, like, lifts it up, and he's like, Smurf this! I'm sorry, no, it's not Gargamel that does that. It's one of the Smurfs does that. Because that's what they say. They're like, smurf, smurf this, smurf that, or whatever the fuck. Whatever they talk about. I don't know what they talk about. Chat knows, apparently, though. Smurf cum is pink? Is it? How do you know that? How could you be sure? Why would I choose to watch modern media when I could sit with my chat and talk about Smurf cum? How, what can they do that's better than this? Nothing I've seen yet. Multi-million dollars. You know, they spend on these movies. I'm like, I don't know. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go talk to my chat about Smurfs ejaculating. And they're like, well, we spent a trillion dollars on this movie, so wait until you see how Iron Man makes this thing explode. It's gonna be different than how he, it, the other thing he blew up, blew up. Oh, is it? Okay, so what he, his arm shot off last time. And then, oh, oh, his leg comes off now? Well, you got me. That's cool. Wow. That was, that was a trillion dollars, huh? Cool. Did he save the world? That's awesome. He saved the world. Okay, I'm gonna go talk about Smurf cum now. Let me know when you spend another trillion dollars. Do 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 do
And I hope nobody thinks I'm being sarcastic because I'm dead serious. I would rather sit in my chat with you guys and talk about Smurf Com any day of the week than see any Marvel movie. 100%. There's nothing they can do. I've just turned around. Probably heard it though. 26 now? Come on now. Come on, come on. We're warming up. better though 29 you like how it fucking immediately goes away and then shows this bullshit screen that i don't need. achievement oh did i get th that that means nothing as a cosmetic cosmetic bullshit now and now i don't want to play this anymore the cosmetic stupid shit that means nothing you got the cherry. You're gonna have the cherry badge forever. Will I? What about when the Xbox dies? Like, it looks like it's gonna die right now. What about when my Xbox 360 dies? Am I still gonna have the fucking orange badge? tell you. Fucking tell you. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna play Red Dead Redemption later. There's a look back at the Xbox Live Arcade. <laughs> hey, we learned one important lesson in this stream. The important lesson is I'd rather talk to my chat and go to the movies in 2022. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on another stream. I love you all. See you next time.